Hi everyone, it's Nicole with the Fire Waiting Worms. It is that time again, Friday. And Christmas, I cannot believe it. Okay, so this week we are talking about Christmas and all the questions I have not even looked at yet. So this is going to be completely off the bat, my true answers, not, you know, rehearsed or edited or anything like that at all. So hopefully I can answer them quick enough because I haven't actually read what they are. Okay, so let's start. When do you start getting excited about Christmas? Well, as a kid, obviously it was like months before and I'd be like, ah, there's only three months till Christmas. <laughs> now it's like, ugh, I don't know, this year I'm not that excited about Christmas at all. And that sounds awful, I know, but we are just so broke this year. Like, we're going on a trip to Australia, family trip, so me, Martin and Roman, and that's just a couple of days after Christmas. So everything we earn is going into that holiday. So normally we would be excited about Christmas because we'd be going into town and buying people presents. I just love buying presents for people. It's just exciting. I don't know why. Um, you know, and getting the food ready and the decorations and everything. But all of that costs money. And normally it wouldn't matter. But this year our holiday is costing so much. It's not even funny. Um, and so we're just kind of having a little bit of a low-key Christmas this year. Um, we're not really buying presents for anyone because, you know, every hundred dollars you spend on someone else is a hundred dollars less that we've got for bus tickets, for activities for Roman to do while we're on holiday. I mean, no one likes to go on holiday with no money. I mean, you know, and Christmas comes around every year. A holiday with my family isn't going to come around all that often. So we're just you know, people understand, we're like, look, you're probably going to get a little homemade present from us this year um, because we want to have a good holiday. And I don't think that's being selfish at all. I just think it's common sense. You don't spend thousands of dollars on plane tickets and finding accommodation and all these cool activities to do with your family if you can't afford it, you know? So, so that's why I'm not too excited about Christmas this year, just because we've got so much going on with our holiday. Do you still have advent calendars? Well, <laughs> usually we do. This year we kind of skipped on that. Also because of the whole, you know, we're going to not buy those kind of things this year to save for our holiday. Even though advent calendars, you can get really cheap ones for like one or two dollars. But um, yeah, we didn't this year. Also because I'm on Weight Watchers as well, which is like really hard, you know, having a chocolate calendar sit there in your lounge and you're like, oh, I want to eat it so bad. <laughs> so no, we didn't get advent calendars this year, but usually we do. What are your favourite Christmas films? Okay, I still really love um, Macaulay Culkin in um, Home Alone, Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2, not so keen on Home Alone 3, but whatever. Um, just because they're classics, you know, they were around when I was a kid and they're still around now playing on TV every couple of years, you know, and it just reminds me of my childhood Christmases, so that's why I like them so much. Do I have any funny Christmas memories? No, I don't really have any funny Christmas memories. Lots of Christmas stories, but none of them really funny. I'll just tell you my favourite Christmas memory instead, and that is, um, I think I was about seven, and I really wanted a trampoline for Christmas. And I woke up Christmas morning and I got, you know, some little presents under the Christmas tree and things. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, as a kid, you kind of get disappointed. And you're like, oh, okay, thank you, mum. And they're like, you forgot a card? And I was like, oh, okay, I opened the card. And I opened the card and it was, the, and it said, Turner Cole, I have left a present for you outside. Love, Santa. And I was like, oh my God. Santa left me a card. <laughs> yes, I still believed in Santa at seven. Um, so I went outside and there was a trampoline there. And what my parents had done is they'd gotten my dog Tasha to go through the mud and then jump up on the trampoline and leave little prints all over it. And my parents convinced me that they were reindeer tracks. <laughs> it was so cute. So that was cool. Like, And I just totally believed it for ages and ages. Talk us through your typical Christmas day. Well, as most of you know, I'm actually in the Southern Hemisphere, um, hence my accent that everyone comments on. I am a New Zealander, so I'm a Kiwi, and um, so we do have quite a different accent, I guess you could say, to most other countries. Um, 
and so of course in the southern hemisphere it is actually summer and <laughs> Christmas time so we don't have the snow and all those traditional things you see on TV so everything we see on TV we're like oh well that's not really our Christmas so um but a typical Christmas for us is um we'll have breakfast at our house with Martin's family um, it will be like waffles, which will be our sweet thing, either waffles or pancakes with maple syrup and whipped cream and strawberries and chocolate and just everything yummy and sweet and um, then we'll have like a barbecue co cooked breakfast, which will be like sausages, ham steaks, oh I'm about to drool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Um, and I'll do like some toast and scrambled eggs and stuff like that. Okay, this is making me kind of excited about Christmas now. Yeah, a little bit. It's good. Um, yeah, so we have like a barbecue pretty much for our Christmas breakfast because it's usually nice and hot in the morning. And um, so you want to sit outside under the umbrella and it's beautiful and sunny and the birds are singing and it's just ah I love summer Christmas I don't know how I would handle Christmas in the snow I really don't or just cold um so that's the morning and then usually um we'll go somewhere for lunch which is usually my dad's side of the family so we're going there for yet another barbecue barbecue lunch which will be sausages steak burgers salads um and things like that and lots of like crackers and cheese as appetizers um and yeah so we just hang out there at my dad's and then for dinner we always always every year i don't i don't know of a single year that we haven't done this um we go to my auntie's we spend christmas dinner there so we spend the rest of the evening there and that is always an amazing full-on traditional christmas dinner with the big big bird in the middle with the you know roast potatoes and the you know greek salad and it's just incredible and it's making me excited just thinking about it i love food hence why i've got a bit of a tummy <laughs> um yeah and at that um dinner is where we do secret santa because that's my mum's family and we are a large family and we used to all buy separately for each person and it just got so expensive so <coughs> excuse me um, so now we just do a secret center, pull a name out of a hat and you buy for that one person, which is really great. And we just hang out and just have a good time and it's, because it's summer, the sun doesn't go down till about 9 o'clock at night and it's still warm and it's awesome and sometimes we have the water slide out for the kids or, you know, we go out in the swing, go for a walk on the farm, whatever, it's just really fun. The next question is, what do you eat for Christmas dinner? Well, I already explained that. It's just pretty much a traditional roast kind of thing. It's really good. Also with um, some barbecued stuff as well, sausages, steak and things like that. There's just usually a table of just meat and salad and just all this amazing food. And then dessert is usually me. I'm usually the dessert person. We usually have ice cream, apple, um, shortcake strawberries, pavlova, which is tr a traditional kiwi meal, regardless of what the Australians think, it was kiwi. <laughs> Don't kill me. Um, next question. Do you have any Christmas traditions? Um, Christmas tree always goes up on the 1st of December, and we always, as a family and with some friends and whoever else wants to come, we get a van, and on Christmas Eve, we always go around and look at the Christmas lights in our town. There are some beautiful ones and everyone's always in a festive mood and they're always giving out lollies and even some people have had a little bit too much to drink and so they're super jolly and really happy and we've had some funny occasions going to people's, you know, these are all strangers, we don't know them, you just go to their houses and look at their lights and stuff and um, they're always very happy because it's Christmas Eve. But before that, on Christmas Eve, we also always go to church and they've always got a, um, carols service on so you sing lots of Christmas songs which is really cheery and happy and it's just nice getting together with family and friends and doing that. Going to my aunties for dinner that's the only one long-standing tradition that we've had is every year it's been at my aunties and um so yeah that's pretty cool. What are your favourite Christmas songs? I love Oh Holy Night by um Celine Dion. When she sings that song I just get like chills up my spine. She's the most amazing beautiful singer ever and so she could tune any song amazing I reckon but oh, oh Holy Night is really beautiful when she sings it but I also really like Snoopy's Christmas 
Um, I'm not going to sing it to you because I can't quite remember the start. What is the best Christmas present you ever received? So when I was seven, my trampoline probably topped it. <laughs> um, probably this year I'm getting an iPhone. That was that's going to be pretty cool. Except I get it earlier than Christmas. I actually get it next week, I think. Yeah, I actually get it next Friday, so that's pretty cool. Um, of course, when I was a kid, I can't really remember my presents, but recently, I, last year, my best Christmas present was a cake mixer from Martin's mum. That was cool. That gets used a lot, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so this year would be my iPhone and our trip to Australia. You know, that's our Christmas present as well. It's always cool getting vouchers. I mean, people think it's so impersonal getting vouchers, but I love vouchers because then you can kind of have the freedom to spend it on whatever you want. And the last question is real or fake Christmas tree? I love both. Our Christmas tree is fake and it is a fiber optic Christmas tree so it is super cool. It's like during the day you can't tell like it just looks like a normal Christmas tree but at night it like changes color and it's all glowy and it's beautiful. Um, I would show you but it's daylight so you can't tell and even if I made the room dark it still just wouldn't work and I won't be able to show you like fast forward to tonight and show you because it's my day for five waiting rooms like now so I have to upload this and edit this and get it uploaded like right now so I can't even wait till night time um but yeah I'll see if I can find a picture or something but it's cool but I also really love real Christmas trees and my dad usually has a real Christmas tree and it just smells amazing it just reminds me of Christmas I like fake Christmas trees because they don't leave a mess but then they just you know they're not the real thing but then they're not all limp and floppy either which is kind of nice um, so that's all you guys thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe and I will see you next Friday for oh film yourself making your favorite Christmas cookie or candy recipe or a holiday craft oh my gosh I am so going on Pinterest right now I'm finding something super awesome jingle bells jingle bells jingle